Good morning and hello. Today is Earth Day. And so one of the Patty dive shops down here we're diving with has started this thing called Action for Isla and has arranged a giant project aware cleanup. So we're gonna go with I'm not sure how many people will be there. It looks like probably at least 30 to 50. Off we go to Earth Day. This is Shyla Sparks. She runs Dive Life here on Isla Mujeres. She's one of the driving forces behind Action for Isla and the Earth Day cleanup we're doing today. And apparently, also makes coffee. I do. I make coffee. <laughs> Say something witty, informative, or charming. Ooh, witty and charming before coffee? Yeah, so we've got <laughs> Phil, Sophie, and Vicky. Hello. <laughs> Where are you all heading off to? Uh, we're going to the Earth Day and Action for Isla. Awesome. And we're going to pick up some trash. <laughs> The moment we're just getting everything set up for the Earth Day cleanup, but the water out here this morning is completely flat. It's beautiful, so that bodes well for our cleanup efforts. Check this out. Could not ask for a more beautiful day for diving. The worker bees are getting all set up. I guess I better put my wings on and go back to being a worker bee. Snorkeling duty. I'm diving. Uh, we've got what, a couple other divers with us. Yep, about four others. Cool. So Kate's outfit with her knife rig on her leg is quite popular. Everybody's realizing she's pretty badass. So we're uh, we're all walking down to our respective piers. We're going out in different groups uh, to each of the dock areas and piers and then I think some folks are just going off the shore too. And then we'll have snorkelers up above. So the divers will take trash up to them, the snorkels will take it over to the shore or the dock and then there's a trash collection crew that's going to go and take it back and consolidate it. Pretty doggone good little operation. Everybody's back. We gotta make sure we get signed in. Uh, they got sandwiches and stuff around. Got a barbecue starting later. I'm recording Charlie, recording me, recording Charlie, recording me. This was my dive partner, Marissa. Did you tear it up? Mm-hmm. Did great? Look at all this garbage we pulled out of El Mar. And there's a lot over there that hasn't even been sorted yet. Pretty successful effort. This is Gwen. Say hi, Gwen. Gwen was a snorkeler. I'm gonna ask you questions with your mouth full to see if I can make you uncomfortable. How do you feel about that, Gwen? What? I, well, I couldn't have said it better myself. So, Soren, one of the divers. Hello. Anything to say about today? Uh, nasty. Nasty. But a good day. Nasty. Nasty in that we found so much garbage when there's a lot of cleanup efforts going anyway. So you see tires and we actually found, uh, I'll probably put it in here, we found uh, a dead smaller turtle, probably five, six years old. Right with a bunch of fish remains, meaning that the fishermen just ate it and uh, left it there. They do that. Uh, um, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they, they do that. And that is not Sophie. No. That's Vicky. Yay, Aha! <laughs> and that, that is Ricky. Oh, look at you. That's Ricky the Wonder Dog. Ricky is a scuba shop dog. 
He just hangs out in the scuba shop. This is Claudia. Hi everybody. What are you doing? Right now, having some food, having a beer after spending a good hour in the water picking up trash. <laughs> she was diving out there with us and was a force of nature, just grabbing stuff left and right. <laughs> How many, and this is your second year doing this here, right? Uh, actually, last year, it was a lot more trash. That there was so every few minutes, we had a big bag of trash coming out. So it's nice to see that it's less which means we're doing a difference. No, do not Look at all that trash we collected today, and that's not even all of it. Still gathering, or still sorting over there. And that was just in an hour. One hour we were collecting. Hi, who are you? I'm a helper. This is Kai and Shai. La. Hi. So Kai, Kai is another drivers. one of the driving forces here. So tell us what's going on. Um, well, Shai and I were sitting in a bar uh, a little over a year ago and having some drinks with some friends, as you do. Um, and we were talking about all these different ideas we had. We wanted to do a dive against debris, and we wanted to do a cleanup, and we wanted to stop straws, and we wanted to do a recycling campaign, and there was all these things that we wanted to do. Um, and then we started talking about the fact that we always talk about all these ideas. A lot of people talk about ideas. Everyone seems to have really good ideas. But nothing ever really happens with the ideas. After idea, the next stage doesn't seem to happen. We kind of kind of get stopped at idea. And especially here, it can be a lot of times because you don't know how to go about it. Um, there's a lot of different government agencies that we're involved in talking to. We have to get permits from like 17 different groups to in order like, to do this. <laughs> in my case, a year ago, I didn't speak enough Spanish yeah. to go and talk to them. So, so even if you do to know who to talk to, you don't know, you don't always speak enough Spanish to translate with them. So we decided to form a group where we would help people and ideas come together and have those ideas turn into actions. And a friend of ours who was sitting with us at the time said, well, so what about Earth Day then? And we were yeah. like, yep. We had like 10, 10 days last year to plan an event. And we were seven. like, oh yeah, like a week. <laughs> yeah. And we planned it all in a week and it ended up being really successful and so now we're doing our second annual Earth Day event and hoping to collect as much trash as we did last year which was like 570 kilos. Awesome. Yeah. And Shyla, you are from? <laughs> I'm from Fort Worth, Texas. And surprise, spoiler alert, Kai, where are you from? I was born and raised here on Isla Mujeres. Isla Mujeres local, so... Orgullosamente Isleña, dignamente Quintana Roo. Ya estamos! There you have it. Yeah, and it's through our, our organization, Action for Easily. So Action for Easily. You can find them on Facebook. Yep. yep. And also and on the at website www.actionforeasa.org. Wow. Sweet. Thank you, ladies. Cheers. Bye -bye. Woo. Little break. A little break. Little break. Yeah. Little break. There's a uh, final weigh-ins going in right now. Just getting those tires and stuff over there. <laughs> Wade and then pile it on the rest because the garbage truck is here to take all this stuff to the landfill. Issue for another day. But it's awesome to see such a great turnout uh, and amazing the work that uh, that the ladies and having all the local businesses that pitched into this and Patty's Project Aware. Just really awesome to see all this coming together. So, it ain't good to be a part of it. This year we had 114 people sign up, so we have twice as many people this year. And with twice as many people, we can make a much bigger difference, of course. Last year we collected 650 kilos of trash, 571 from the ocean and the rest from land. This year we made an even bigger difference. Is everybody ready? Todo listo?
casi doble, casi doble la basura del año pasado. This year we collected 1,006 kilos of trash. Almost double what we did last year with double the people, double the effort, double the trash.